Hey there guys and welcome back to No More Heroes 2 Desperate Struggle. In the last part we killed Nathan Copeland and became 50th. So it's time to mess around with the cat again. Feed him. Make him happy. Or her, I think it's a female cat actually. Let's start with a belly rub. Pretty much looks like you're shaking around a dead cat. A piece of roadkill. And I still think it looks like freaking Red Rocket. And yeah, this is pretty much hell on your control stick if you're using the classic controller like I am. It's kind of uh, like you can do this the best way if you do the infamous Mario Party like control stick maneuvering by putting your palm on it and rotating it like there's no tomorrow. Which was known to cause blisters back when people played Mario Party 1 because the Nintendo 64's control stick was not really did not really have a soft top which you put your hand on and time to pick up this fat cat and it looks like long cats if you do it like this I love me some lol cats there's some pretty damn funny pictures on there although I don't get the ones that say like can I has cheeseburger I think those are just lame I mean why would a cat want a cheeseburger that's just beyond me. Alright. And Travis has done some back exercises as well. I mean, picking up heavy objects. Like an overweight cat. Okay, let's do this again. Crap. For some reason, I don't think I'm doing it right. I don't think the cat's supposed to catch that... Whatever the hell it is at the end of that fishing rod. Why does Travis have a fishing rod anyway? Does he go fishing... When he's not out killing people. I don't really think he doesn't really look like the kind of guy that would enjoy fishing in my opinion. But yeah, the cat's starting to lose some weight and play. Oh, that's this again. With the little foxtail thingy. Come on, let go. And why the hell are we on a time limit when we're playing with our cat? I mean, is, is that just like the time when Travis gets bored like, oh, screw it, I don't want to play with that stupid animal anymore. I can relate to that because sometimes your pets are fun and sometimes they are not fun. My two dogs aren't really that much fun most of the time either. So, alright, we've done everything with the cat that we can um, go outside. It's a nice, sunshiny day. So let's go out and see what's doable for us in the town. Coconut Grabber and Pizza with a Vengeance. Two new side missions. So I guess we'd better get around to showing those then. Start with Coconut Grabber. And that does not really sound like an innuendo at all. Travis is going to go grab someone else's coconuts. Okay, collecting coconuts apparently is a heritage in this city. You're not a real man until you've grabbed your first big fuzzy coconut. Oh man, I told you it was freaking innuendo. You pick up your coconuts and then you put them in your nutsack. Ah, uh, that, that one was bad. So yeah, another 8-bit game. A is jump, Y is kick, move and dash. Alright, let's get it on. Very much what you do is you kick the tree, coconuts will fall down, and you better hope you can catch them in your basket because you can't pick them up once they're on the ground. And most of them will like drop at an angle, making it incredibly hard to catch them sometimes. Oh crap! And when they land on your head, you get like knocked out for a bit, which takes away from the time you have. Ah, come on, that one was totally in the basket. And sometimes they'll also fall straight down, which makes them easier to catch. There we go, we already have three. Three fuzzy coconuts. Although it's kinda messed up, I guess, if you have more than two, then something went wrong when you were being formed in your mommy's tummy. Yeah. Oh, nice. That one was a perfect catch. Oh, crap. Oh, come on. 
Hmm, are we at the end already? Oh well. This side mission is like... I think it's my least favorite of all of them because it's... Pretty hard, it's redundant. And Travis can jump 10 feet into the air. Oh, nice. No idea how I did it, but I still did it. And they threw some enemies into the mix here. It's the same, like, bee and scorpion from the uh, bug catching game. Oh, come on. All the other ones fall straight down and that one doesn't. Screw that. Crap, scorpion. Scorpion's not gonna say get over here, I'm pretty happy. Yeah, maybe. I'm still considering on picking up the new Mortal Kombat game. Because I'm not really that much into fighting games. Because I hate, like, having to memorize all the freaking combos and stuff. But then again, I do hear that the new Mortal Kombat game apparently has an amazing storyline, so it would probably make a pretty damn good LP. Except I'm kind of low on... I'm not really low on money now, it's just I need a lot of money later on down the line. Because uh, I got Red Faction Armageddon coming at the end of May, which I already pre-ordered. And I also pre-ordered the Infamous 2 Hero Edition, which costs 130 bucks, but comes like with a little statue of Cole, a comic book, uh, extra in-game content like new powers and skins and stuff, and also a replica of Cole's backpack. So yeah, I thought, oh, that's pretty cool, and I have money to spare anyway, so... And I want, especially want the uh, extra in-game content to make my eventual LP of Infamous 2 much better. I mean, I know they, like, for Infamous 1, the pre-order, like, special edition bonus was the Gigawatt Blades, and they made that DLC later on. But, I'm probably not gonna... That's probably gonna take a while, and I don't have the time to wait for that, so I pre-ordered the Hero Edition. Also, because I want that pretty sweet backpack. I mean, Cole has a nice backpack. Come on. There we go. Oh, sweet, I actually caught that one. Come on. Oh, mid-air coconut head collision. Alright. Let's just make a run for it. I hate that scorpion. Where's my bug vacuum cleaner when I need it? And you mean, it's the same guy who gives me all these side missions, so where's my vacuum cleaner? He should have it in the back of his truck. Or van, or whatever the hell it was. Come on, I only have four. I'm doing a really lousy run on this one. What? How did I not get that one? And how did that one land on my head? Oh, crap, crap, crap. Got him. Nice. Kick the tree, come on. Maybe you can kick the scorpions as well. Although I'm not going to risk trying. Because it's probably going to end up... Uh, come on. Freaking coconuts. Oh, crap. That one had to hurt. Alright, uh, what was this? Stage 2 or 3? Stage 3, okay. Only one more to go. Thank goodness. Ugh. Stayed up way too late recording Super Mario Galaxy last night. Oh crap. Now they're also like blocking off your path with freaking bees. Ah, oh, come on. How did that thing pass through me anyway? Oh well, 8-bit games are known to be like glitchy as crap. That's why the Angry Video Game Nerd reviews so many like NES games. Also because LJN just kept making shitty NES games. So they've given him lots of fuel to add to the fire. Hey man, what is up with all these bees? Why are they flying in a freaking pattern? What did Travis do to anger them anyway? I mean, last time I checked, bees don't just fly up to you and sting the crap out of you because they die when they sting. So, unless they're suicidal... They likely won't. Crap, Scorpion. Oh, I can still catch coconuts when I'm unconscious. Nice. Jumping over the bees. 
are they even bees? They kind of have a wacky coloration for if they're bees, but then again, are scorpions really red? I don't think so. You know what? Screw this. Ooh! One final nice catch before we get to the end. Alright. Thank goodness that's over. That's uh, that definitely one of the worst. <laughs> Wish my wife had your coconut handling skills. Oh, man. Innuendos are everywhere in this place. In this game. So, let's go on to the next one. Pizza with a vengeance. Alright then. Santa Destroy needs you. For what? Pizza Bats putting all the family pizzerias out of business. Pizza Suplex have been a fixture this time for generations and they need top notch delivery men. Guess who needs to do that? Travis, of course. Alright then, pizza with a vengeance. It's like a driving game, kind of like uh, the NES game Mock Rider. Or like pretty much some of the Game Boy. I remember playing like some kind of V-Rally racing game on Game Boy that was like this. Pretty much you drive and you dodge stuff. Oh crap! Did not see that one coming. Okay, now we ain't know what to dodge. Just get going again. Let's see, that's an oil spill. Probably don't want to run into that. Oh crap, car. Oh come on, you can't even drive in the middle of the road. I don't like this game already. And what's that thing? That's nitrous, which makes you go super freaking fast and is probably suicidal. Oh crap. Crap, I missed the nitrous. So many oil spills. Why don't you Americans clean up your roads? I mean, look at the background. This is obviously in the US somewhere. Like somewhere in the uh, Rocky Mountains Grand Canyon area. I don't really know the uh, geography of the US, so bear with me. All I know is that Florida is the best place to live and that there's like places down in the south that need better borders because the Mexicans keep jumping over them and they have a lot of tornadoes. That's pretty much all I know about geography of the US. I mean, what's the capital of the US anyway? Let like Washington DC or New York? I'm guessing it's DC, but I could also see New York being the US capital. Now why the hell do they have like a state called Washington and also a city called Washington? I mean that's just... And I don't even think Washington DC is in Washington. So that gets even wackier. Oh well, maybe I should come to the US sometimes. Like, do a little road trip. Once I get my freaking driver's license, that is. And crap, a whole lot of oil spills. Swerve. Left, right, left. And right again. Man, someone must have a really leaky car around here. Crap, crap, crap. Oh, nitrous, want that. Turbocharge. Oh, this is freaking suicidal. I mean, what Pizza Boy's scooter goes over 300 miles an hour anyway? I mean, hell, I don't even think there's a car that goes over 300 miles an hour. Like, that's... Like, speed is reserved for like stuff like planes. But yeah, stage 3. Now it's night time, we're on a bridge. Going for some city... With a lot of skyscrapers, because it's like New York or something. And now they also throw trucks into the mix, which are much bigger than cars and you're more likely to ram into them. Ain't that just freaking perfect? But they also added more driving lanes, so I guess one could also say it's somewhat easier. Because there's more places to dodge to. Man, so many cars. Oh crap, oil spill, no no no, oh! Slipping on an oil spill and slamming right into a truck. That's a recipe for disaster right there. Come on, get the nitrous truck. Look out. Hmm, not doing so bad so far. Oh, crap. 
unexpected turn for the win. Come on, Nitrous. That'll help me get a head start. Yeah. Just swerve from one Nitrous pack to the next one, and you should make a pretty decent time. Oh crap, this thing is on time? Huh. Oh well, at least I made this one. With like 48 seconds to spare, so... Not bad. I just wonder how the pizza is in... What a condition it's in after colliding with a truck. Can't really be that good anymore. Okay, stage four. The final one. Probably the hardest one as well. Come on, get your scooter going, Travis. Oh, crap. That's quite a lot of cars. Whoa, yikes. No, 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 no. Uh, where do we go? No, probably don't want to get that nitrous because there's an oil spiller right behind it. Oh, come on. Damn you, truck. Oh, crap. Okay, so now they're pretty much blocking off freaking huge parts of the road. So they're really trying to make it hard on you here. And... Oh, crap. No. Don't want to hit that truck. Yeah, I'm gonna get there. I can do this. Oh, nuts. Oh, crap. I only have, like, less than a minute left. I need to speed it up fast. Come on, go, go, go. I hate turning in this game. Uh, okay, I really need to get, like, all the nitrous packs and just don't hit anything. That's, like, my only chance of still making it to the ending in time. And here come the freaking oil slicks again. What? Did a truck full of oil just dip over? No, 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 no. Man, the, I just keep going from oil spill to oil spill. It's not good. And somehow... Nuts. Oh crap, only 17... Like 15 seconds left. Come on. Faster. Come on. I totally need that nitro. Come on. Almost there. No. So close to... Oh well, not gonna do it again. You all saw how it works. Screw that game. Do you even have a driver's license? Mm, I don't know if Travis has one. But anyways, we'll go to the gym and stuff in the next part of No More Heroes 2 Desperate Struggle. Thanks for watching.